What's going on guys? So today we are going to benchmark my graphics card stock <coughs> and then tomorrow we're gonna do some change some settings in the NVIDIA control panel and then the, the GeForce experience. And then finally, we gonna try to do some overclocking. Before we get to into today's video, if you like this kind of content, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that bell, so you don't miss anything. Let's do this, guys. So, I wanted to do the, uh, let me minimize that. I wanted to do the 3D mark time space, but you actually gotta buy 3D mark before you can use the time space. Now don't, the, now the, uh, the time space is free to use. It's just, you gotta buy the base, the 3D mark base before you can actually download and all that. Download the time space and use it and all that good stuff. So let's get into it. So we are using Heaven from Unigen. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just looking. Let's go ahead and do basic. Actually, let's just do There we go. Then we are going to go ahead and full screen that. We want to go with custom. Um, you can also upgrade to advanced edition in here. I may do that because I really like uh, he heaven. Um, let's see. Let's move this to DirectX 11. We're gonna start on low. I think all these... Disabled. I do believe, yeah, there we go. No, nope. I was wrong. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Quality low. Let's put this four settings in quality four set. Okay, let's just let's just disable that for now. Times eight, and let's do a run. It's loading. Gonna eat me a Starburst tail, and we're gonna come up hill to the left corner and hit click benchmark. All right, there's. I don't know if you guys are a little bit closer. Here we go. There's a total of 26 scenes. So, probably about. Mm, between, anywhere between two to five minutes, a benchmark should be done.
Now the benchmark, benchmarking is safe to do, guys. Um, I don't know if that's too loud. Anyways, uh, the benchmarking is safe to do. The only thing you really have to watch out doing is overclocking. Uh, if you overclock it manually, you risk on breaking something. Either your graphics card or your CPU or, or just frying up your whole system. Um, I will recommend using <laughs> Sorry about that guys. No dollar just brought my dog up. I would recommend using a uh, I recommend using the MSI at the bottom. That way That way you are safe from damaging your st uh, uh, hardware and uh, you don't risk you don't risk killing your stuff. So we got frames per second, 66.7 frames. Score 1681. Minimum frames per second, 9.3 frames per second. Max FPS 108.5. Maximum frames per second. All right. Let me go ahead and uh, save that to my desktop here. I'm here on my as well. Turn that down a little bit.
I really don't like this. The saving. So let me go ahead and uh, just hit OK. Close. And we're going to close out of this. We're going to quit this. Let me go ahead. I don't even see it. Don't even see it, guys. Maybe my log? I don't know. Anyways. We're going to go ahead change the quality to medium. Then change that to moderate. And... We're going to see how good this does. <clears throat> now, remind you, whenever you're benchmarking, the higher settings you get, the, uh, the higher settings that you set, the lower frames per second you're going to get. So, this test should be lower than the, the, the low, low st uh, quality test. A nice dragon. The textures looks a little bit better. Also, it's good to do benchmarking on new hardware that you get. That way, uh... <clears throat> You can see what kind of settings you can run on games. I mean, some games. Some games you're going to be able to run at the highest settings. But uh, most games, I came to realize that it runs better on medium settings on the 2060s. Also, the 2060s, they don't, they don't put out 4K, so. If you're looking for a graphics card, 
Now we're on 4K, don't get a 2060. Just something else. And gaming wise, anyways, I should say. I don't know about videos, if we're running 4K in videos, but I know. Don't really run 4K in gaming too good. All right. As you can see, we get a 40, uh, 37.9 frames per second, which is low or way low. 956 score, 8.9 minimum frames per second, 70.5 maximum frames per second which is they, all these scores is relatively low why is that set to draft exit oh duh okay save and let's go So, excuse me. So I will run. I will run uh, the low, low end settings again, but uh, that's gonna be off camera. But it's saved somewhere on my desktop. I gotta clean this crap up. Does anybody see it? I'm starting to think that it's not saving, guys. Um, And I don't see it. Anyway, let's continue. This time we're going to go high. And then quality high. And then the, the we're going to change that to normal. And we're going to hit run. Yeah, I can see the difference already.
I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, guys. Dog just got a little rowdy. Got to put them up for a little bit. All right, guys. <clears throat> this one's a little bit low. 33.0 frames per second. <clears throat> Score of 831. Minimum frames per second, 17.3. Maximum frames per second, 67.9. We got one more test. Let's set those at max, ultra, and extreme. I don't see this doing too good, guys. I think we're going to hit a really low numbers here. But we'll see. I know the graphics are really good.
So far, I don't really see any tail. Look like that window did something funny. I'm still not digging that shadow for that light. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. See what we got. We got a 27.9 frames per second. Really low. We got a 703 score. We got a 16.7 minimum frames per second and 55.9 maximum frames per second. Let's go ahead and save this. At least I'm hoping to save them. All right. And there you have it, guys. That is the stock benchmarking numbers. Uh, later on, probably tomorrow, because I have two days off after the day so tomorrow I really start getting it in and benchmarking first we'll go into the settings and settings in here in the control panel for the Nvidia Why does I thought they brought that dog up thirty minutes ago, whatever. 
Anyways. I really need to get my own office. So, tomorrow, we're going to go ahead and uh, do some changes in here. Play around in here a little bit. And then we're going to run heaven again. See what that gets us. And then we are going to go in the G-Force experience here. And we're going to go to settings. And we're going to see what we can change in the settings here. And yeah. Then lastly, I don't know if I got MSI after going on. About to check. No, I do not. So let's go. Let's go get that now. Except download after Bono. The zip. Of course, this is it. Yep. You ain't gonna ask me on zip it first? Alright. Accept. Next. 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 That was weird. Usually they'd be like, oh, you need to unzip this before you uh, install it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 